Okay, welcome back to the High Tech Studios. I like to talk about sight reading. If you're a student and you're looking to go to college and you have to take an audition, you sight reading is so important you can't believe how important sight reading is. When someone listens to you take an audition, if they're a teacher, a saxophone teacher, a horn teacher, doesn't matter what instrument, or they lead an ensemble, wind ensemble, concert band, orchestra, jazz band, small group, when they hear you sight read, if you can sight read, what that means to someone who leads an ensemble is if you sight read well, they don't have to rehearse as much. If you don't sight read well and you happen to get in school, well, then rehearsals can take forever. So sight reading can make or break an audition. So let me tell you a couple things about sight reading that can help you uh, avoid some problems. Sight reading is really being able to look ahead. So in able to look ahead, you have to think about a couple things. Well, actually, I have to think about one thing. You have to do two things. You have to find your tempo de learno. <laughs> Your tempo de learno, the tempo you could learn at. Tempo de learno, I have to credit Bobby Shue, great trumpet player. I don't know if it's his or not, but he told me, he was the first to tell me that tempo de learno, so I credit him. You have to find your tempo de learno, and we'll talk about that. And two, you can't stop, because music doesn't stop. Music goes. And by keeping in the game and not stopping, you actually force yourself to look ahead. So, if the tempo is too fast, you can't look ahead. If the tempo is too fast, all you're doing is trying to process the information that's right on the beat, and you will screw up the next beat. I mean, it's bound to happen. But um, let's try it. Let me show you what not to do. This is how you screw this up. This is uh, this tune is Hot House. Okay, Tad Damron, great tune. So let's say. I don't read well, and let's say I don't know this tune, okay? This is what you don't want to do. Don't do this. Let's see, here's my tempo. Ooh! I can't do it at this tempo, but you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. Bad move. So, here we go. I'm going to try and read it at this tempo. Can't look ahead. So this is what you get. One. Two, one, mm, mm. Okay. Now, some some players will just stay at it and learn that. All you do if you do this over and over again is get really good at this being really bad. So, if you play something too fast, all you do is make more mistakes in less time and you get better at it. So don't do that. So now I have to find my tempo de learner because this isn't it. This is too fast. I can't do it. So let's, I'm going to slow it down. I'm finding this first. I can't even get to the part where, I'm, where I don't stop because I can't get started yet. So let's try this. One, two, three, four. Can't do it. Let's try this. Let's see. Okay. One, two, three, four. Can't do it. Slow it down even more. Ooh. I'm not, a, I'm not as good as I thought. So here we are. Ah. It's a little easier. I can almost see ahead here. Let me try it. Can't do it. Slow it down even more. Where is my tempo de learno? Where are you? Maybe I could do it at this tempo. Okay? <laughs> So, I don't know how this song goes. Let's say I don't know how it goes. If I make a mistake, how do I know? 
you have to not lie to yourself when you sight read. If you if you know you you missed you missed a figure, you can't lie to yourself. You have to stop and say, "All right, I have to go back and make it right." There isn't any almost like, "Oh, I almost have it." If you almost have it, you don't have it. You have it or you don't have it. So this is too fast for me. So how how slow am I allowed to go? Any tempo you want. It's not a matter of playing it fast. It's a matter of playing it right. And then we can creep up. You can only play it right when you're able to look ahead. So this is too fast for me. Let me try it here. All right, there it is. Oof, there we go. I'm going to try it now. Three, four. <laughs> Miracle of miracles, I did it. So this, this is my tempo de learno. This is the tempo that I want to play this whole tune. And if there's a section in this tune that's a little too fast or I get tripped up because maybe uh, there's a little figure that's a 16th note or a little tricky, I slow it down even more. So when you learn the sight read, this is how you do it. Find the tempo de learno, and once you start, go all the way through. It doesn't matter how slow it is. It, it matters how right you play it. You have to be honest with yourself with sight reading. Don't lie to yourself because... <laughs> because you will be found out. So we all do this and you don't have to start with anything uh, hard. You want to start with, you can actually start with something you kind of know but back it off. You'll know when you find the right tempo because there will be a part of you that's inside that will sort of relax because you are, you'll be able to see ahead. You'll know when that happens. It's like this in, internal trigger that will go off and you may miss some figures but you'll you'll be able to look in front of where you are and control it and that's what you want to do so find your tempo de learno and don't stop and that'll help you in your sight reading and if you can get your sight reading together you're going to be an asset to anybody who wants to have you in their group <laughs>